hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands of man hours that went to put this air show together. Let alone have 160,000 people show up on your, at your doorstep, you know, now it becomes game time. It's a special one because it's the centennial of marine aviation. People are going to see the Marine Corps when they see those airplanes. And they're part of a, a team that uh, that's second to none. So I encourage the folks who talk to the Marines here uh, that they see at the air show. They are the pride and joy of the second marine aircraft. calling it Celebrate the Heritage, which is celebrating 100 years of aviation in the Marine Corps, which is huge. Very hard to describe what it feels like. It's the, the awe in America. I mean, it, it shows the innovativeness of, of Americans, and it shows what, where we've gone and where we're going to. But the way the Marine Corps maintains it and operates it and, and, and why we operate it. I think every time you see a Marine, you see a Marine airplane, then you see a Marine, you go, the only reason the Marine Corps has an airplane like that is to support that guy on the ground. Dude, we've done it. Libya, we did it. Afghanistan, we're doing it. And, you know, bottom line, when a, when a bad guy understands that there's a Marine task force offshore, stand by, right? Stand by, uh, ready to go take the fight to the enemy, wherever they are, if need be. And, you know, it's really, I, people call it a miracle, but it's not a miracle to the Marine Corps, just how we do business. It's eye-opening. Um, I just had the interaction of the Marines and everybody get together and have a good time. we got a lot of respect for everybody out there. To integrate that with the local community uh, is great because the local community has been a part of our traditions for 70 years here at Cherry Point. And really the first thing I do is I turn around and look at the crowd and, and look at their reaction and, and you know it worked. The feeling of energy and patriotism and freedom is just huge and you just got to be here to feel it. Um.